Sally, a 32-year-old housewife. I have a daughter named Katie. She's three years old. Mommy, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Give me a minute, okay? I'll make you something right away. Yay! I know. I'll help. Really? Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah? Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she might look healthy, but actually, her immune system is very weak. She gets sick all the time. It really hurts me to see her like that. I wish I could do something for her. Hey, Daddy! Huh? Ah, oh, hey. Hey! You look tired, Daddy. Want me to give you a massage? <laughs> You're so cute! I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed. Okay. Can you stay up a little bit? Listen, I've had a long day. I don't get to stay home all day like you. You look after her. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay. Recently, my husband's been in a bad mood. He comes home late almost every day. Work must be really tough. The next day, Katie got sick. You okay, dear? Just try to get some rest, okay? Yeah... I hope I feel better tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't worry. Get some rest, okay? Okay, I will. Good girl. Want anything to drink? Uh, apple juice, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Then, my husband came home. Hey. Hey there. Hey, listen. Katie got sick today. I had to take care of her all day, so I couldn't go to the grocery store. Can you order some pizza or something for dinner? Seriously? Pizza? What were you doing all day? I told you, Katie got sick. You couldn't even go to the grocery store? I can't just leave her alone. The store is right around the corner. It's not a big deal. You're too protective of her. Seriously? You were there when the doctor explained her condition to us, right? She's got a weak immune system. Even a simple cold can be fatal. I can't just leave her alone like that. Are you gonna lecture me now? You can't even cook dinner for your husband. Oh, forget this. I'm gonna go out and get something to eat. What? Then he walked out of the house. Is this my fault? What was I supposed to do next? The next day, Katie was still feeling sick. Uh, can I play outside today, Mommy? Hmm, maybe not today. You still got fever, dear. Okay... You'll be fine in no time. No worries. Um, I'm sorry. For what? You have to stay home all day because of me. Not at all. I like spending time with you, Katie. I love hanging out with you like this, Katie. It was Saturday. My husband usually works on Saturdays too, but he was home today. Looks like he was in a better mood today. Phew. Hey! Yeah? I'm cleaning the house. Help me. What? Now? Yes, now. The house is a mess because of you. I'm trying to help you here. Uh, I'm doing my best. What was that? Nothing. I didn't want to make him angry again. I decided to keep quiet. I know. Let's ask Katie to help us too. She's always sleeping. She should help around the house. Then he started walking towards her room. Hey, stop! She's sick right now. She's fine. Come on, Katie. Get up. We gotta clean the house. Uh, Daddy? Then he pulled her out of bed. I told you she's sick! Let her rest! You're too protective of her. That's why she's so weak. Come on, Katie. Time to clean the house. Work. Work. Uh, Katie! Katie fell to the floor. Katie, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I gotta help Daddy. 
It's okay. You just rest, okay? She's so useless. What did you say? I said she's useless. She's your daughter. How can you say that? It's your fault. You're the one that gave birth to her. Are you serious right now? Then he ran out of the house. Mommy, am I useless? No, Katie. Absolutely not. You mean the world to me, Katie. Daddy is just tired. He didn't mean that. Don't listen to him, okay? Okay. I feel kind of sad, though. I'm feeling sleepy. Go on, dear. Rest up. Good night. Good night. Then she fell asleep. He called her useless. What's wrong with him? I can't let him get away with this. That night, he came home late again. Hey, what's your problem? Why did you say that to Katie? What? I just told her the truth. Hey, wash this for me. I'm going to bed. He threw his shirt at me. He went into the bedroom and fell asleep. Why should I do anything for him? I threw his shirt onto the floor. Then, something fell out of his pocket. It was a piece of paper. What's this? It was a member's card for a motel. So that's where he was today. It's pretty obvious. I got him now. I went to a detective agency the next day. A week later, I got the results. He was cheating on me, all right. He was seeing his boss's daughter. Seriously? He's unbelievable. He's gonna pay for this. Next Saturday, I invited someone over to the house. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Thank you for coming today. Of course. Boss? Your wife asked me to come over. She said she had something really important to tell us. I asked her to come to the company, but I heard Katie was sick. So I decided to come over. Hope you don't mind. Okay. So, what's all this about? Could you look at this picture? It was a picture of my husband and Mr. Johnson's daughter going into a motel together. Huh? Is that my daughter you're with? What is this? What? Where did you get that? I found a member's card in your jacket the other day, so I hired a detective agency to look into it. Ugh! Explain yourself! Well, uh... uh... Say no more. The picture speaks for itself. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You have a wife and a child. What's wrong with you? And my daughter, too. Shame on her. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to your wife. I'm so sorry about my daughter. I'll have a talk with her. We'll pay you for all the damages. What do you plan to do with your husband? I'm getting a divorce. There's no doubt about that. So if you want, you can fire him. Go ahead. I understand. I will report this to HR. Wait, no! Please! I better get going then. Excuse me. Sir! My husband was crying, but Mr. Johnson ignored him and left the house. It's all your fault! You're the one who betrayed us. You're so useless, and so is Katie. That's why I started fooling around with other women. Seriously? Katie is not useless. You're the useless one here. Sign the divorce papers, pay me the damages, and get out of my life. Damages? Ah, uh, wait, hold on. Look, I'm probably gonna get fired, so can we work something out? Not my problem. Oh, and let's not forget about child support. What? Then he lost his job. He had to take out a huge loan to pay me for damages and child support. Who knows what he's up to these days? The other day, I saw him in a dumpster looking through trash bags after everything he did to us. Good riddance. As for Katie... Mommy, my shoes are too small. 
Wow, you're growing up. Let's go get you a new pair. Yay! I can't wait to go out with my new shoes. Me neither. Where do you want to go? I'll take you anywhere you want me to. Hey, Katie? Yeah? You know I love you very much, right? <laughs> I love you too, Mommy. Her immune system might be weaker than others, but that doesn't mean she can't go out there and live her life. I'm gonna do everything I can to protect her.